No matter what they say, it's all about money. So let's imagine, ladies, that you're a savings and loan officer. Watch. One, two, three. See? You've got it all, and we've got nothing. And you have all fortune to look. But I wouldn't trust you with real gold. That's why this one's only worth about a penny. And if you wonder where the other one went, watch. Penny from the air, how much for the rest? <laughs> you see that one? No, I have it. Great party, Philip. Well, my wife went to a lot of trouble. She called a caterer. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Ann. Howard, how are you? Philip, good. Hey, I understand Edward's taking over Morris Industries. Yeah, well, he's not here to get a suntan. Can I get in on it? Yeah, call me. When? Just call me. Uh, hi. I'm Philip Stuckey, Edward Lewis's lawyer. Hey, where's the guest of honor, anyway? Well, if I know him, he's probably off in the corner somewhere charming. A very pretty lady. How are you? I told my secretary to make the arrangements. Didn't she call you? Yes, she did. I speak to your secretary more than I speak to you. I see. I have my own life, too, you know, Edward. This is a very important week for me. I need you here. But you never give me any notice. You just think I'm at your beck and call. I do not believe that you are at my beck and call. Well, that's the way you always make me feel. Maybe I should just move out. If that's what you want, yes. All right, when you get back to New York, we'll discuss. Now is as good a time as any. That's fine with me, Edward. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Jessica. Phil suggested that maybe I should Phil is just my lawyer, okay? Yes, sir. How did the Moore stock open at the Nikkei? I don't know. You don't know? Tokyo opened maybe 90 minutes ago. You have to keep on top of these things, all right? Done. Hello, Mr. Lewis. How are you doing? I want this whole thing wrapped up. As soon as possible, i got to get to New York by Sunday. i got tickets to the Met. Yes, sir. Your coat, Mr. Lewis. Thank you. Edward. Susan. Hi. <laughs> I was sorry to hear about Carter. Oh, yeah, thanks. Heard you got married. Well, yeah, I couldn't wait for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Susan, tell me something. Yes. When you and I were dating, did you speak to my secretary more than you spoke to me? She was one of my bridesmaids. Oh. Your husband's a very lucky guy. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Do you? Absolutely. Wonderful. He's leaving. Edward's leaving. Excuse me. Is this Mr. Stuckey's car? Hello, Stuckey, that's here. Edward, where are you going? Do you have the keys to your car? Why, what's wrong with the limo? Look, the limo is buried back there. Daryl can't get it out. Hmm. Please give me the keys. All right, look, I don't think you should drive. You're a little excited. Don't drive my car. Let me work something out here. Tell us, what kind of a system is this? Can you move these cars out of here? Look, Edward, Edward, uh... Are you familiar with a stick shift? Are uh, you yeah. driving a shift? Yeah, yeah. Listen, all right, just just be ginger with it. Don't, it's a new car. Don't, uh, Okay, I can do it. Edward, give me a break, please. I love this car. I love it, too. Look, you don't even know where you're going. You're going to get lost in the dark. Beverly Hills is down the hill. I no need to fall at your feet just as you cut me to the bone. And I won't miss the way that you kiss me. Oh, yes. We were never caught in stone. If I don't listen to the talk of my town, then maybe I can fool myself. Thank you. 
to understand me. That's my job. At the end of the month, I collect everybody's rent. Now give me the money or you're out of here. Hey, what's your dream?